In this chapter, we will see how NRZ coding is used in CAN and how bit stuffing is used for the CAN bit synchronization. So now let's see what is NRZ coding. NRZ means not return to zero. So NRZ coding is used in CAN. So this means the logical one is represented as high level and logical zero is represented as low level. But let's see this the below diagram how the NRZ coding and how the Manchester coding works. So for the logical bus levels, so we have the NRZ coding representation and we have the Manchester coding representation. So for the logical bus level zero in the NRZ coding directly it is represented as zero. But in the Manchester coding, the first half bit phase is represented as zero and then the next half bit phase is switches back to one. So for the bus level 1 in NRZ coding, the directly it is represented as bus level 1. But in the Manchester coding, the first half bit phase is represented as 1 and it switches back to 0. So thus in NRZ coding for the same polarity bits, there is no level change in the bus. So if I have three high levels, so in the NRZ coding, all the three high level consecutive bits are represented as high but in the Manchester coding we have a polarity change for each of the bit so in the next half bit timing there is a polarity change so thus when we use NRZ coding in CAN so if we have a same polarity bits for longer period of time then it loses the synchronization so thus, we need to have an explicit synchronization mechanism in the CAN. So in the next slide, we'll see how the synchronization mechanism works in the CAN and what is the method used for it. So the bit stuffing is used for the CAN synchronization. The bit stuffing method is for every five homogeneous bits the sender inserts a complementary bit in the bit stream. So what is a homogeneous bits? So homogeneous bits means the same polarity bits. For every five same polarity bits, the next bit will be inserted as an opposite polarity bit. So we'll see in the animation how actually the bit stuffing works. So we have three rows. This is the actual data to be transmitted and this is the logical bus level after bit stuffing and this is a NRZ coding representation which is equal to the logical bus level. So here we have the first bit as bus level 0 and the logical bus level is also 0, NRZ coding is also 0. Next we have bus level 1 and the same levels are represented for the logical bus level and NRZ coding. So the next second bit, second consecutive bit is also 1, third is also 1, fourth consecutive bit is also 1, fifth consecutive bit is also 1. That means we got a 5 homogeneous bits here. So we got a 5 bits with a high level. So now after this 5 homogeneous bits in the, in the logical bus level, we should stuff a bit with the opposite polarity. So here we are stuffing a bit with the opposite polarity that is with zero. So the next, next also we have a sixth bit is also, sixth consecutive bit is also high. Then here in the logical bus level, we got it as a seventh bit because here we got a stuffed bit and then it follows with the next bit and then we, in the actual data we have a logical level 0 and then that is represented in the bus level and also in the NRZ coding. So the next we got high level and that is represented in the bus level and NRZ coding. So the next again we have a logical level 0 again the same is represented in the bus level and NRZ coding. So now 0 continues for next five bits. So here we have five homogeneous bits. So here now again we need a bit stuffing. So now 
opposite polarity bit is inserted in the bus level. And then again we have a zero, then that is represented after the stopper bit. So like this, we continue the bit stuffing in the CAN bus data.